let it, let it, let it, let it bang, bang. Danny from Inglorious Fishing. Currently a Sunday afternoon, and me and Jamie's came down to uh, Vazon, uh, Vazon Vale, Vale Beach, um, and we're going to go and dig some ragworms, some logworms. So stay tuned. Hope we can get you a few of these worms, and uh, we'll do a little bit of fishing later on. It's Inglorious Fishing. Well, guys, just walking down the beach. Uh, this is where we normally dig ragworm. We got Vale Church just over there. Uh, it's a place called Amra. So this is where we're fishing. Sandy Hook, Lee Lay Beach. Uh, there's the little outfall in front of us. Uh, we're going to be digging the ragworm just at the bottom end of that. That's where they always seem to be. And we're going to try for a few logworm later. There's normally horses running along this beach and dogs and stuff like that. The wind noise is down today, guys. So uh, we shouldn't have no more hampering like we did last night in the conga Just so Stay tuned and uh, I'll bring you back when we get to the worm beds. trying to dig bait here and the place has been absolutely hacked to pieces the ragworm beds over there have been hacked so i may have to go down to the harbour and uh may have to go and try there and go digging at our local spot so uh yeah we're probably going to start moving guys and go down there before the tide comes up because we're just wasting our time here just there uh, jamie look before we leave guys we're just going to show that here jamie chuck them in here i'm going to try and dig a few of these logworm guys I managed to source a few of these log with me before we go down to the harbour so just to have a few more digs try and get a few of these and then we'll head down to the local harbour like I said to get some ragworm lovely logworm lovely put them in the bucket mate let's get some more Oh guys, we've got a few logworm there. Not many. Like I said, we got. We're, unfortunately, we're uh, hampering by the tide. So stay tuned. We're going to start making our way to the harbour before this tide starts rushing up, and we can't get no uh, ragworm. Well guys, we've arrived at the harbour. Uh, there's a few people down there digging bait already and the tide's on its way up. So uh, we can't muck around and uh, we need to get down there. So uh, be down there in a bit. So guys, we're just walking down the side of the boat. The problem is it's so sludgy here. It's absolutely sludgy as anything. So you sink, and it makes it hard walking. Anyway, hopefully, get a few ragworm. Do all the anchor moorings. Here yeah, we get a few ragworm, and then we can make an evening of this. So uh, stay tuned. Here we go. Well, Jamie's just found a nice cockle. Check this out for a bomb site. We've absolutely demolished this area for the ragworm. Uh, we've got a few ragworm guys, we've got a few nice ragworm for tonight. Well guys, so I'm leaving the bomb site now. Jamie started walking off in front of me. Um, he's got the ragworm. We've got a nice box of ragworm now. So uh, we're going to go home. We're going to have a bite to eat. Um, get to the van, have a bite to eat, like I said. And then we'll be out shore fishing tonight. So uh, see you in a bit and uh, hopefully we can get you a few fish.
Look at the wall, guys. It is absolutely covered in limpets everywhere. I walk up. Oh, look, there's an oyster there. That's an oyster, guys. That's a uh, native oyster. Oh, look, clinging to the side of the rock. Anyway, the stairs are only there. Beautiful to see that. Anyway, the stairs are there, going up to the van. Like I said, get something to eat and we'll be fishing, baby. See you soon. Well guys, we're up at the bar now, off for tea. Stay tuned, see you at the fishing venue. Hi guys, Danny from Inglorious Fishing. Well, we're back after digging the bait at uh, the harbour and down Lelay. And uh, Jamie's already got his rods out. I've got one rod out. I've just set up the other one, so I'll give you a, uh, a run through with that. But. Uh, Stay tuned and uh, hopefully get a few fish tonight. Some glorious fishing. So guys, I'll just give you a run through of what I'm using. I'm using 25 pound main line on my um, PEM525 and I'm just using a running ledger, just a simple zip slide. Just using that and then I'm using a, probably a 500 mil, so a 50 centimeter trace, uh, down to a 1.0 cox and roll hook. A uh, few little uh, beads there for a little bling and uh, Log worm with a ragworm on with uh, two head hook ragworms. So uh, stay tuned. And hopefully, this does the business. My well, guys, currently fishing down here, and yeah, it's not good at the moment. We've had no bites, but we haven't been here that long to be fair. So still hopeful that we might get something. We got four rods out, so yeah, stay tuned, and uh, hopefully we we'll get something soon. My well, guys, condors coming in. Uh, must come in from Jersey. Beast of a ship that you'll see it reverse in a minute. I'll take you. A, uh, I'll do a video of it when it starts reversing and stuff. That's how uh, coming in, guys. The beast of a vessel. Pile of crap because the sailing on it's rubbish and it don't hardly goes out in anything. So yeah, liberation. in a force two, force three, you're like all over. Anyway, hopefully we get some fish. So guys, we've moved location at the moment, currently behind Boatworks Plus now. It's a lot more sheltered from the wind. There's no wind whatsoever. So it's a lot nicer for us. Uh, it's a lot more warmer, that's for sure. It's probably about five degrees different, five, six degrees. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned, hopefully uh, we get something. Jamie had a conger here last time, so uh, hopefully we can pull something out the bag. Oh God, I've just got a little pull on that rod then. A little bit of an inquiry. Happy with that. Hopefully materialises and we get something. My oh guys, nothing's materialised from that bite yet. There's condor leaving, leaving the arbor. Danny's over there, he's decided to join us, he's set up, and he's just getting his uh, rods rigged up. Anyway, hopefully we get another bite and get you a fish. Well guys, first fish, little conger eel, I've seen a little bite before. Yeah, straight in the side of the gob there, beautiful hook up, I don't know if you can see that. It's a beautiful hook up that, beautiful. It's only a little strap whip conger, so um, yeah, we'll get him off the hook, and we'll get him back, give you a little glimpse of it and we'll get him back. Glorious, hopefully, get his grandma. So, guys, I've got to release him now. One final show. Back, he's gonna go. Hopefully, we get some more. So, guys, well, is that it? Jamie's got his first uh, catch. Lovely shore crab there. Just get a better glimpse of it. Yeah. yeah. Bloody big shore crab that one. Biggest one. Lovely shore crab that. It's a male. Yeah, you can tell by the cords, eh? Not by the underneath oh. as well. Is it? Yeah. Anyway, we're getting him back, the little fella. We're chucking back now. Back he goes, and hopefully, get a few more fish. Baker's second catch. Another crab. 
<laughs> Chuck him on as bait. <laughs> Chuck him back, baby. He's no good to us. Hopefully we get a few more fish, guys, because uh, it's not looking too promising here. I knew we were going to get hampered with crabs, but hell, let's strip in the bait like God knows what. Well, guys, Danny's caught the first red mullet here. Beautiful little fish, this. It's a cracking little mullet, that. They've only got to be 15 centimetres, I think, the record. Uh, the limit, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's centi 15 or 13, isn't it? I think it's 15. Yeah. That's well over 15, guys. It's a beautiful little red mullet. Danny's going to eat that now. Yeah. He'll have that one later on. Oh, here you are. Look, he'll measure it for you now. Yeah, the legal size limit, I'm sure it's 15 centimetres on the... Uh, red mullet so uh there you are look she's well in that's a 27 there that's a beautiful yeah. fish nice one danny cool. hopefully you get a few more then yeah mate. yeah nice one Probably. well guys jamie's over there reminiscent of some fish seems to just be catching crabs at the moment all sorts of crabs eh, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> the crabs that we all wouldn't want neither no i'm only joking uh we got the bottom rods out um yeah, not a lot happening. I've got some two big baits out. We're only going to last another half hour here, guys. Danny's over there. He's had the best fish of the red mullet. So he's laughing at all of us. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully we get some half-decent fish. If not, we're going to be packing up soon. Well, guys, we decided that's enough. Jamie's just packing up the rest of his gear there. Going to start making our way to the van. You all right with that, Jay? Yeah, mate. Yeah, we're going to start making our way to the van. Danny's at the other end here. Uh, Danny had the red mullet there. You keep that own for his tea. Yeah. There it is, baby. Just down there. That's the red mullet there. Danny's gonna have that. I've got a scallop down there as well. Uh, I found earlier. You got? Oh yeah. Nice scallop he found earlier on the beach. He was digging uh, ragworm with us. He found a lovely scallop there. That's a beautiful scallop. Well in size. Yeah. Yeah. Might have that with the red mullet. Yeah. Nice one. Anyway, have a good one, eh, hey, Danny? Yeah, Take it easy, eh, yeah. chap? Oh, See ya. Right, Tight lines, baby, tight lines. Well, guys, that's another episode of Inglorious Fishing. Not many fish. We had the conga whip. Jay had two crabs, I think it was, eh? Two, two crabs. crabs. But uh, Danny pulled it off. He had a red mullet, so that was always a nice fish to have on the channel. Oh, yeah, and he had a little pout as well. So, anyway, guys, uh, I'm going turbot fishing tomorrow, so I'm having an early night. So, if you like the channel, please like, subscribe, and we'll join Baker once again on our next adventure. It's a glorious fishing.